Find out where you can feed carnivorous plants next. CapeCast. Howdy folks, I'm Eric Williams and welcome to CapeCast, the official webcast of the Cape Cod Times. We're here in the Hidden Hollow at Heritage Museums and Gardens in Sandwich and we are checking out something spooky. Carnivorous plants, it's a new exhibit. Yikes. So Les, where are we and what's going on here? Uh, we are in Hidden Hollow and we are in the center of or looking at um, a collection of carnivorous plants. This is exciting stuff. These plants seem pretty unusual. Uh, how do they make a living? <laughs> uh, they make a living by uh, helping us um, take care of some of our insect problems. Uh, they like to um, ingest insects. <laughs> Me. They, uh, they secrete enzymes and uh, those enzymes then dissolve the insect and the plant uses the, uh, the insect as nutrition. So Les, the superstar of the carnivorous plant world, it's got to be the Venus flytrap. Walk us through this baby. Uh, it's definitely the Venus flytrap. Venus flytraps are, um, are very aggressive in how they go about entrapping their insects. These little hair-like structures on the top actually act like fingers and close over so the insect can't crawl out. Like I say, it's, it's dinner. Next thing you hear is a, a Venus flytrap belch. No, no, that's probably not true. <laughs> it's okay if a, a kid fed a bug to a plant down here? Uh, it's definitely okay. Uh, if they find an insect, they're more than welcome to drop it in and see what happens. 